Welcome to ADHD Power Tools, where we give you the tools to unlock the power within. Hello, Brooke. Today, I want to talk to you about to-dos. We've talked about to-dos so many times before. We've, we've had an episode on it. It's a big and to-do. Yes, to-dos are, are big time for us with ADHD. And I want to tell you some of the tools I use to make sure I get my to-dos done. Um, whenever I think to-dos, I think of the three main things. I think um, prioritizing, goals, and consistency. Now, I'll start off with prioritizing. There's three questions I always ask. I ask myself, how long is this to-do or task going to take? An hour, 30 minutes? Is it quick and easy? How long is it going to take? And then I ask myself um, how important it is. Now, is it, does it have to be done now? What, does it align with my goals? How important is this task? And then I ask myself, um, when, when does it need to be done? Is it due tomorrow? Is it due in two days, in a week? Do I have to get it done today? And that's how I usually prioritize my to-dos, my tasks that I need to do. Mm-hmm. And then I, obviously I got to run back to the main question, goals. Does it, what, what am I trying to achieve here with these tasks and to-dos I'm trying to do? What's my goal in the end of the day? And I make sure I answer that question and I be consistent with it. Last thing is consistency because commitment is one thing, but consistency is super important. That routine, doing it every day, writing down your to-dos on the flashcards and, and stabbing it on the spindle of accomplishments right here. Um, for those of you who haven't watched our to-do episode um, right, right back. back then, a uh, little, little flashcard here with some of my to-dos on it. I stab it on this little spindle and um, watch it. It's a great episode. Um, so, yeah, those, those are the three things I usually um, make sure I, I take care of with my to-dos. Prioritization, goals, and consistency. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And you have um, such creative ways of mm-hmm. doing your to-dos. I love the spindle of accomplishments. And... Um, One piece of advice that I would just like to share because we have implemented to-dos into our calls um, and our shows. So I don't want to reiterate anything that I've said before, but notice when you're too much in the weeds Mm -hmm. rather than having a bigger picture of the to-dos. For instance, If you're constantly in motion, right, you'll never be able to plan your to-dos. So you'll never be able to, and never is a strong word, so I don't want to say never, but it's very unlikely, or you're going to have a hard time to evaluate, are these to-dos important, like you said, Mm -hmm. can they be eliminated? Um, How do they align with my goals? Mm -hmm. When am I going to plan them? All of those things that are just so important in managing your to-dos because Mm -hmm. sure, our to-do list can be like a CVS receipt long. Yes. And a lot of people are using like task management systems like Asana and Trello to try to manage their to-dos. I actually just got off of a call with um, some business owners yesterday that Mm -hmm. they all use Asana to manage their to-dos. But Mm -hmm. the one thing is if you dump your to-dos in a space, Mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that they're going to get done. Yep. Yep. So don't try not to be stressed when you look at it, right? Yeah, try to say yeah. to yourself, okay, I have all these to do's. Which ones do I have to do right now? Yep. Are they important? How long is it going to take? When can I plan them? Mm-hmm. And if I can't plan them, don't think I'm going to get them done. Yep. Can I delegate yep. it or I'm going to have to push it off? Or if I can't push it off, something's going to got to go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So the more you evaluate your to-dos and don't just dump it into a list, the more regularly it becomes a habit and you become more consistent with actually taking action on the important to-dos that you have to do. Mm -hmm. And I want to bring up, I I agree hundred percent with what you're saying. Um, I want to bring up a little thing I completely forgot to say, a little cool tool I use um, is so I, when I want to remind myself on something, it's kind of more of like a reminder to do type of thing. I text myself the to do. So I have my own number saved as a contact and I go in and I literally text myself and I leave the message app really quick. 
So when it sends to myself, it shows as, oh, you have one message and make sure not to open it. So every time I open my phone, I see that and I'm like, oh, one message, one message, what's going on? And I look at the messages and I'm like, oh my God, I got to do this to do. It's a reminder every time I open my phone and it works like magic. It yeah. works like magic. I think that everyone has their own systems. I actually mm-hmm. coached someone who did exactly the same thing and there's nothing wrong with it. It, it works for you. So, mm-hmm. so exactly. if you have something that works for you, then use it. Go ahead. There's yeah. nothing wrong with it. If it doesn't work, figure out why it's not working. And if it's not the right system for you, find something else, but don't look at all these, which I know as an ADHD or myself, you know, we get excited about all these different ways to plan our to do's, right? Like this is going to be the magical way. This is going to be the magical planner. This is going to be the magical app. This is going to be the magical organization system. If you have something that works, use it. If you can get excited about it and gravitate towards it. 100%, 100%. 100%, 100%. Every, you know, there's there's something that works for everyone. Everyone's brain is different. Different brains, the production of this series. Everyone's brain is different. Every brain is like a snowflake. Um, it's They're all different. And um, we, we all have our own creative ways. Try things. And it's the most important thing is to try something and see if it works for you. And um, find those tools, those adaptive skills and tools to um, help you um, achieve your goals. Do your to-dos to not make it a huge to-do. There you go. I love that.